Welcome to Lestertainment, the channel that doesn't live up to its name. Here we go again, guys. Oh, here we go again. This is part 8 of the series where normal, untrained guys get way too cocky and think that they can actually beat a professional or a highly trained fighter. Or at the very least, not look like complete idiots. But they get this proven every single time. I love doing this series so much. If you happen to enjoy this video, please give it a like and subscribe down below. Also turn on those notifications so you know when I put up another video. And please let me know in the comments if you know of other occasions where people challenge pros that I have not included yet, since I want to continue making this series. Back in 2007, Tom Waze, who's a Belgian actor, decided to challenge the women's professional kickboxing champion, Jermaine Durandamy, in order to get into the Guinness Book of World Records. But things did not go very well. <laughs> Tom trained for three months for this fight, but it just wasn't enough because he didn't really use anything he learned. He mostly tried to use his bigger size to push Jermaine around the ring. He tried to come out with everything in the last round to get the win, but as they both connected with a right punch, Durandamy was the one that got the knockout and won the fight. <laughs> Never challenge women, because you can't win. If you win, they'll make fun of you for beating a girl, but if you lose, you'll get destroyed for losing to a girl. This guy named Arya Intavang, who worked for BuzzFeed, decided to train for three months in order to fight in a professional fight in MMA. He faced Kazen Match, who, to be honest, was a perfect opponent for Arya. They both seem to be pretty conservative in this fight with pretty bad jabs and punches, since they weren't committing to getting them to land with power. Arya held his head really high up, and then at some point he remembered that he had to keep his hands up and he would do it, but then he would forget again. Okay, he's in trouble here though. Absolutely. I can't see the other hand of Casey and how, how well locked up it is. It is deep. Oh, he went all the way out. Choked him all the way out. Then he got beat with a guillotine choke. Why? Because three months is not enough time to learn to strike, let alone how to get free from all the different type of chokeholds that exist. According to the comment by the person who posted this video, the giant guy in red came into this gym in Philadelphia and claimed to be a pro in Muay Thai and MMA and he was from Russia and he wanted to spar with somebody from the gym. Well, Hack the Incredible faced off with him. Body hot, body. Stop peeing off on his head. Hit the body. There you go. We don't got all gear. Go to the body. The guy in red started going really hard, so the smaller guy matches intensity and taught him a good lesson, which is that in sparring, you're supposed to hit as hard as you are willing to get hit. Good. He has pretty bad balance and the way he winds up his hits is hilariously bad. This guy got tired after only 50 seconds of sparring. Obviously his entire backstory is a complete lie. And damn those body shots look vicious. Now we have four more YouTubers who decided that it would be fun to make a video challenging a professional MMA fighter, and in this case, it was Misha Tate, the former UFC champion. The YouTubers are from the channel Janeskians, who stated that Tate offered them two minutes each to see how many times she could make them tap. And well, she made each one of them tap out multiple times. Dude, Misha is only 5'6 and she completely made these guys her bitch. I don't know if they are just smaller guys or what, but she looked bigger than all of them, even the really muscular one. 
One of the most popular comments on this video is that all the guys would pay to be in this position and would be fighting with boners. But to be honest, this doesn't look fun at all. It just seems very painful. Now we have a kung fu master named Kai Tran who decided to challenge a much younger and smaller pro MMA fighter named Nam Fan. You will be able to see exactly what the problem is with many martial arts when you see this video. The kung fu guy actually started pretty good using his bigger size to smother the smaller man, landing some big shots, but he doesn't have his hands up at all. He gets hit to the face but still doesn't put up his hands. I wonder if this is actually something he learned in Kung Fu or he's just too confident and doesn't think he's going to get hurt. But he learned a lesson in the end. He got wobbled early with a jab then got knocked out with a strong right punch. They should have stopped this fight after the first knockdown cause it was bad. This is supposed to be one of those funny Japanese videos where a comedian takes on a pro. Which in this case is the scary Chris Cyborg. I kind of think this guy has had some kind of training before because he doesn't look that bad and does a pretty good job at blocking many of the hits and kicks that would have landed on many untrained fighters pretty easily. <laughs> he then got hurt with a kick to the body which made him try to take her down. But come on man, she's highly trained in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. So she was able to take his back pretty fast and end it. Punch really hard, I can just tell looking at you, you know? So the first thing I would do is like, wait, oh! <laughs> This is another fun video where a Fox News anchor is interviewing BJ Penn and decided to take him on in a quick fun challenge and things got a little bit too intense. <laughs> Brian, how many pounds do you have on him? I'm going to a towel. Here, I got to throw my coat in. Brian, you're fired. We're going to stop this. Wait, we're done. Oh, oh. The anchor is really trying to get loose and using all his strength but BJ Penn just holds him in place with full control and finally goes for the arm lock. This was all for fun and games but the anchor man was really trying his hardest to at least get up. But the funniest thing is that the other anchors really thought this was serious and that Penn was actually gonna hurt him. Trouble. This is a fight. I'm in huge trouble. The pro here is named Robson Mora and he has a school in Tampa Bay in the United States. This big guy walked into the school and challenged anyone in there to a fight for $20. Well Robson takes the challenge and tells him that he will beat him in 5 minutes and when he does he must sign up as a new student. And we all know how this went. I mean size will help you if you're fighting some untrained guy but technique will always win. He choked him out in about 10 seconds and then put him in like 3 different locks in 30 seconds. And he was out of breath within 5. I'll try my own. Joga lá pra cima, mano. Okay, alright, alright. I see where I'm going. Oh, 
Let's go. You tell us. This teacher is pretty awesome because he taught this guy that size doesn't mean shit when facing off against a trained fighter. And he can teach him how to actually win in a real fight. That's pretty awesome. I think this is the fastest video I have ever included in one of my videos. They're gonna kick your ass. This guy wanted to challenge a Taekwondo fighter to a quick fight, and he got a really fast lesson. That was incredibly easy. He completely dropped his hands, thinking that it was going to be a low kick, but then it just kept going and going, and he got a face full of foot. It wasn't even that hard, but that's all it took for this challenge to be over and for him to learn his valuable lesson. Now we have Charlie Zelenov getting beat once again, but this time in an actual fight with the referee and everything. He was facing Andre Hartley who had a massive disadvantage in terms of reach, but still managed to completely embarrass the so-called greatest undefeated champion of all time. I'm not gonna sit here and say that Hartley is a great boxer, but he was way better than Charlie. You can even see him here trying to pull off one of those disappearing acts, but realize he couldn't just run away. Then he tried to surprise Andrew, but again, he can't do that in a real fight because the referee stopped him. Finally, he quit after getting knocked down like the massive loser he is. There you have it guys, another 10 times where people learn their lesson. Well, I guess it's actually 9 since Charlie will never learn. I have no idea what's wrong with him, but he just keeps going. I wonder if he's making any money from all this fame he gets because I don't know what other reason could he have for going out there and getting destroyed on a consistent basis. Thanks for watching this video. See you next time.